You have to walk a mile in somebody's shoes before you know who they are. Everybody's story is different. And I kind of felt like I should have died. We're their next door neighbor. We're their siblings with all of the same challenges. To be in their boots is to try and somehow understand what it was like. This is my story. Hello, and welcome to another episode of In Their Boots. I'm your host, Jan Bender. Every week, we gather here to tell the story of those affected here at home by the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. And by sharing these stories, we hope to inspire you to get involved in your community. If you're looking for ways to do that, check out the Solutions tab on our website at intheirboots.com, where you'll find links to numerous organizations and groups that are in place and looking for people just like you who want to come to help out those who served and their families. And this week, we'll be watching Chapter 2 in our real story that follows the Massaminos, a family whose husband and father returned from his third deployment to Iraq, a changed man. Later in today's show, we'll be talking via webcam with Sergeant Richard Massimino about the post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injury that he suffers from that have drastically changed his interaction between his wife and his children. And finally, we'll hear from this week's expert. She's a specialist from the VA in the area of traumatic brain injuries. And she brings us all to a better understanding of this invisible wound and the effects it has. But before we talk to them, let's recap Chapter 1 and then open Chapter 2 of this week's real story, When He Came Home. Here it is. His whole world revolved around me and our family. My oldest is 11 and her name is Anastasia. My middle one is Isabella and she's three. And then my son is just about 21 months old and his name is Devlin. My first tour was to Kuwait in June of 03. The second deployment was just, it was a rough one. I came home a different person in that show. I was home for like a year and a half and then I deployed again. September of 07, I went to National Treatment Center for PTSD in Palo Alto. When I realized it really changed, um, I was scared because I didn't know who I had become or what I'd become. I would definitely say today that our relationship is 180 degrees different than it was because I went from wife to caregiver 